that is something today happened something which is not couldn't be contained in the borders of Ukraine. This is a catastrophe of planetary scale, and and uh, Russians again show to the world that they don't care about anything. They don't care about people. They don't care about environment. And if Russians would not be stopped and as quickly as possible, I don't know. They will destroy the whole planet. First tonight, the unfolding crisis in southern Ukraine, where thousands of people are being evacuated after a vast dam was blown up in Russian-held territory. Video footage shows a torrent of flood water gushing through a breach in the dam. Water is surging down the Dnipro River, flooding dozens of towns and villages, and there are concerns of the risk to the city of Kherson. President Zelensky has blamed Russia for the explosion, but Russia has denied it destroyed the dam and said the damage was caused by Ukrainian shelling. The White House said it could not say conclusively what had caused the destruction of the dam. We've seen the reports that Russia was responsible for the explosion at the dam, which I would remind Russian forces took over illegally last year and have been occupying since then. We're doing the best we can to assess those reports, and we are working with the Ukrainians to gather more information. But we cannot say conclusively what happened at this point. Well, that was John Kirby, White House National Security Coordinator. The NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg condemned the attack. The destruction of the Kohovka Dam today puts thousands of civilians at risk and causes severe environmental damage. This is uh, an outrageous act which demonstrates uh, once again the brutality of Russia's war uh, in uh, Ukraine. Well, just a short time ago, I spoke to Alexei Goncharenko, who's a Ukrainian MP for the Odessa region. And I began by asking him what the latest was on the extent of the damage at the dam. The dam is destroyed and uh, the flood is coming the water is arriving near the city of Kherson, and I saw it by my own eyes. Um, we don't know when and at what level it will stop. Probably it will happen tomorrow, but nobody can say for sure. That is an awful catastrophe, catastrophe of planet, planetary scale, which was uh, made by Russians. Uh, they already committed genocide against Ukrainians and are committing genocide against Ukrainians. But now they are also committing ecocide against nature, not only of Ukraine, because the consequences will be much bigger and broader. The Black Sea will be damaged and already is damaged. And uh, the consequences of what had happened this night will last for years. Russia has denied that it was responsible for the explosion at this dam, though. Maybe somebody from the moon came and did it. Well, Russia has blamed Ukrainian uh, forces for shelling the dam. Oh, yes. We are making the war against ourselves. We are taking our power grid. We try to freeze ourselves. So that is clear. One more Russian lie. Uh, really, I am tired of all these lies. It's clear that it was made by Russia because they controlled the dam. It's impossible to destroy this dam from outside. And there is no any evidence of any shelling at the dam or any damages, external damages of the dam. So it was blown up from inside and Russians control it, controlled it till the last moment. Now nobody controls it. Uh, so how it could happen in other way than Russians did it? So there is no even one, one percent of doubt who did this. It was Russians. It's completely in their playbook of war how they are doing their warfare, just destroying infrastructure, like they did the whole last year, attacking Ukrainian power grid and, log and logistics and bridges and everything else. You were saying that you have been to Kherson, which is a city nearby. Tell us what the situation is there. Is the city itself threatened by floodwaters? Yes, it is. It is the biggest city in the area. And... Uh, Part of the city is under the water already, and uh, hundreds of people are evacuated today. We will see what will happen this night and tomorrow. Probably more people will need evacuation. And the water is coming and coming quickly, and we don't know at what level it will stop. 
So people are already being evacuated, but presumably if the water continues to come through the dam at the rate that it is at the moment, we're already seeing pictures of the water coming through and of the floodwaters rising. This will hit more towns and villages and indeed the city of Kherson. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what will happen. Also, like a huge area of agricultural land will be damaged. And also even more areas will be without water because all the amelioration system, all the watering system of the fields in the southern Ukraine is destroyed. So that's, that will also uh, influence the food security of the world. What can be done now to try to contain the scale of this catastrophe? Really, I don't think that something can be done. The catastrophe already happened. What we should do today is to save people. Uh, that's the most important. Everything else, I don't know. The quicker Ukraine will liberate our territory, that we can start to rebuild the dam better for everybody. That's probably the only way. And again, that is quite a new stage because that is something, today happened something which is not, couldn't be contained in the borders of Ukraine. This is a catastrophe of planetary scale. And, and uh, Russians again show to the world that they don't care about anything. They don't care about people, they don't care about environment. And if Russians would not be stopped and as quickly as possible, I don't know, they will destroy the whole planet. This dam was also strategically important, wasn't it? I mean, can you just explain that and perhaps tell us what you think this episode could mean for the next phase of the war? This dam, from the military point of view, was the only bridge across the Dnieper River for many, many, many miles around. So probably the only one bridge. Uh, and... Uh, um, probably that's why Russians destroyed it, because they are very much afraid of Ukrainian counteroffensive, And maybe they were scared that Ukrainians or Ukrainian army will take control of the dam and, and will cross the river on this dam. Uh, also, that uh, the consequences of this is that the Dnieper became wider, uh, and uh, now it will be more difficult uh, to cross the river on boats too. So from a military point of view, probably that was an attempt from Russia to prevent Ukrainian counteroffensive at this part of the front line. And how do you think this will affect that counteroffensive by Ukrainian forces, which appears to have just started? I'm not a military person, so yeah, I'm not professional in this. But it looks like in this part of the front line, it will be extremely difficult to cross the river. So the counteroffensive here is uh, very hard to imagine. But there are hundreds of miles of other front line which is not connected to the river at all. So can it prevent counteroffensive in general? No. But uh, is the front line which Russians try to keep uh, now shorter? Yes, so probably they can now concentrate more forces on uh, the front line, which they try to hold. And how does this affect Odessa, where you are now, Alexei? Like directly, for the moment, uh, it doesn't affect Odessa, but Odessa is on the Black Sea. If there will be, it, it depends on the scale of ecological catastrophe in the Black Sea. If it will be really big, definitely the, all the coast will be uh, damaged by this. If it will be smaller, maybe not. Uh, also, the, we will have more people running away because their houses are destroyed. And uh, we will have more internally displaced people who will try to find shelter in Mykolaiv and Odessa in the neighboring cities. Uh, so that is the consequences for the moment. But in future, there can be bigger consequences because if we will have a deserted area because of this, the change of climate and other things which are hard to predict. So definitely that will influence 
the whole country and the Odessa included. Well, that was Alexei Goncharenko, Ukrainian MP for the Odessa region, speaking. 